What's going on everybody? East Tactics here. This is the official video for the June Jump Challenge. Let me just go ahead and get lights turned on in my pit station so I could chat with you guys a little bit. Um, oh, M2C Racing, what's up with that? Cool, sponsor. Um, I actually wanted to tell you guys real quick, you'll notice that uh, my shock spring is, is removed and I have my shock sitting here because I actually decided to just go on a little trek or a family walk with my family, I took my RC with me and I jumped it off of a, a little miniature rock overhang and ended up landing super gnarly bad and it ended up popping off my spring and breaking my the bottom um, rod and on my spring right here. So yeah, let me see, I'll show you, you can see it. Focus, all right, perfect. Yeah, that broke, that was the only thing that broke Although I did notice that if you look in here, you can see I'm about, I don't know, five millimeters short on shock fluid. So it is a thing, guys. I'm going to create a little video to just show if you're running the emulsion shock caps from M2C. It does require a little bit of, of maintenance, uh, probably more often than you think, to get in there and top off the oils in your shocks. I'll make a quick video on how to do that, just to the proper way to fill them up and uh, set the to set the squeeze on them and everything like that as you top them off. But M2C shock caps are a huge um, upgrade to your rig when it comes to shock mitigation, zero rebound. Another thing that I can bring up since I'm over here is many of you guys know that I rock custom springs, right? So you can kind of tell these springs are a lot more heavy duty. In fact, I'll kind of show you the stock springs. Um, right here so that's the difference between my springs and the shock springs these are about a six pound spring that come from the manufacturer designed for really a rig when it comes out of the box uh it's only about a 12 pound rig but after all these upgrades doing all those different things to the stock you know creating you know it's going to be a little bit heavier but these rigs the shocks they're really designed well from arma for the weight that they come from out of the box and then people go and they do all these massive upgrades. So anyway, I put these shock springs on, but, and these again, these are a nine pound spring. So I have a whole playlist on this whole, this topic of, of just, you know, tinkering with your, with your setup, especially if your rig's heavier from all the upgrades. I've really enjoyed it. You do have to put, instead of putting just, uh, I, I think the shock fluid inside these things from stock is super thin. You've got to put 5k diff fluid inside of these if you're rocking these heavy springs because it's crazy. So, but check this out. I even have another set of springs. This is a completely different set of springs that I just bought for fun. They're, they're even more hefty. I actually call them beast springs. Um, the, I just put them, I just threw them in a box up there because I'm like, I don't think I'll ever use them because they're just sort of insanely stiff. Like these ones right here, they're the 1630 springs. You can watch this video right here if you want to get the details, but they're pretty easy to squeeze. And um, I mean, comparatively, they're, they're much more difficult to squeeze than the stock ones. But these beast springs, I mean, this might be ideal for like a skate park or something like that. I mean, I can... I even have trouble squeezing it all the way down. They're probably, um, I might just experiment and throw these on just to see how they impact my rig when it comes to the 5K diff fluid that I have inside here. And if the 5K diff fluid still handles and, and rebounds properly, or at least slowly, somewhat slowly with a spring this stiff, I might actually like these. I don't know, we'll see. Especially if you're rocking a skate park or something, I don't know. So I don't know. I just keep just just watch my future videos because I am going to be playing with these beast springs. Um, I I ordered these from. Uh, there's a spring. If you watch the, this video again, you'll get the website where I order these springs from. And yeah. So anyway, these are the 1631 springs, which are the ones I currently use. So I just thought I'd share that with you. I know it's sort of an off topic, but why not? You know, we're we're uh, we're just hanging out when it comes to these announcement videos anyway. Another thing I wanted to point out real quickly since I'm kind of on the topic is, you know, M2C standoffs are a must have, right? Absolute must have when you start getting into big air. And if you want to take advantage now, M2C has just upgraded their shock standoffs um, right here. These uh, shock standoffs now are a five millimeter right here. This bolt is, is now even thicker. They're even tankier. So when you go in and uh, pick up the shock standoffs from M2C, 
they've stepped it up another level. But obviously M2C is not gonna do something like this unless there are people that are still, you know, breaking the four millimeter rod there. So when you pick up shock standoffs now, you know, just double check that you're picking up M2C's newest variant the four, with a five millimeter, um, you'll end up drilling through here, you know, increasing the hole size a little bit to uh, put those bad boys on. And it's just a must have upgrade. So another thing, I mean, you probably noticed me just dropping down. I wanted to mention the M2C's also, you know, they've they've uh, designed the top hinge pin kit for the upper. So it's, it's a front upper and it's now compatible with the EXB. It's got, you know, it's ready for you to, to use the, the little grub screws that go in. And so you can just pick this straight up from M2C now, instead of, uh, you know, if you break the monkey metal from Arma, you can now pick up this version. They've always carried an aluminum front upper hinge pin, but they did uh, modify this to make it to where it's more compatible with the EXB and the newer variants that are, that are rocking the Creighton V2, whatnot. So make sure you uh, know that in case you end up breaking that piece or or if you're rocking a V4, that thing's made out of plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook my chip, my my camera up right here. All right, I'm back. So yeah, you probably noticed in the very beginning of the video, I put a little message or a stamp that popped up that said, you can skip to this section of the video to get the details on the jump challenge immediately instead of uh, um, watching all the bantering and the waffling that I did in the beginning of the video, which is totally fine. Some people really enjoy that. So, but if you skip to it, let's get to the details of the June jump challenge and what it is gonna be. It's gonna be parkour a tree, <laughs> all right? So basically all you need to do is you need to find a, some sort of tree somewhere at a park or, you know, if you, I'm sure you can recollect when you look back in your memory that you've seen some pretty gnarly trees with some pretty heavy duty tree trunks. Some of those trees will have like their roots will lend a little bit of a ramp up. So you can, you can literally drive right up to the tree and just, just climb up it and then and then fly off. A lot of times you'll find a tree branch that ends up happening three or four feet up that will curve you back the other way. And then you just fly up. Like, you ever seen anybody like rip inside of a, uh, a tractor, like the scoop of a tractor? You end up driving into it and it just throws you out upside down and you have to spin it to land on your feet. You can do stuff like that with a tree. So this month's challenge is find a tree and do something interesting with it. You can, if you want, you can even jump over a tree, just involve a tree. Um, the, the challenge though is gonna be more parkour-esque, which, you know, the video itself, you can actually have a small section of the video where you hit a tree and do a backflip off of it. And then you can incorporate some more parkour stuff, oriented stuff. By definition, parkour, when it comes to RC, is basically just like doing something fun with the environment. You know, a lot of people will set up multiple ramps around uh, their home and they'll jump off of the ramp onto their roof and they'll fly off the roof and do a backflip and hit another ramp. Or, I mean, I've seen people take their, their RC over to like, you know, a baseball diamond and, and hit a ramp and launch off the ramp and hit the fencing behind the baseball diamond, the larger part of the fencing, and rip, get a little bit more speed off of the fencing and curve upside down and land and stuff like that's parkour. That'd be like that'd be like parkouring a fence, right? But my point is, you want to, in your video at some point in your video, you want to parkour a tree and just film that, and you can focus specifically on just the tree, or you can add some more parkour elements into your video. But this month's challenge is going to be more experiential with the environment and incorporating, you can still incorporate a ramp if you want, but that's the challenge for June, okay guys? So, so big shout out to the three winners that won last month. Last night, I went in, did a live stream, rolled a 20-sided die, and Turtle RC ended up winning the big prize. Lionheart ended up winning a t-shirt, and so did Rich D. Rich D was the best in show. Check out his video right here if you wanna see his video from the May Jump Challenge and he won a t-shirt. Um, just a quick recap, because I want to give, you know, those are the, every once in a while I do get a, a complete newcomer that drops into these videos. This is the first, you know, announcement video that they happen to see because they're a new subscriber. And I just want to give you the scoop on how it works. So every year for the last three years, I've gone in and I've done a jump challenge or a jump competition during the months of April, May, June, July, and August. I've gotten sponsors involved that will send goodies your way. All you have to do is 
participate. So what does it entail to participate? Well, you just submit a video to your own YouTube channel. If you don't have a YouTube channel, it literally takes like 30 seconds to create a YouTube channel so that when you're on your phone, you'll notice there's a little plus button down right at the bottom of the screen when you're watching YouTube on your phone. You can even see these, de you know, the details on a desktop, but who's on YouTube on their desktop nowadays, right? You'll see a little plus button, you go, you hit plus, you add a video, it uploads it to your own channel. How do you create a channel? You go in and you create an email account and you literally hit yes, 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 and you have a YouTube channel. So you can create and upload. Once you've uploaded the, once you've filmed the video, you upload it to your own YouTube channel and I'll get, then you let me know. You just shoot me a message in one of my videos. You can email me and I'll upload your video to the playlist. That playlist will grow throughout the month. Uh, and as, as many people that submit a video will be the number of uh, possibilities or chances of winning. The last month we had about 20 people that submitted videos. And so I rolled a 20 sided die. We landed on 11 and Turtle RC won. So it's, it's, it's not so much the pressure of being the very best. It's all about just completing the challenge. So last month I put out a challenge for May for you to do a drop zone challenge. Basically find an area in your local community or somewhere out in the world where your rig drops. Everybody submitted their videos, it was, a lot, it was a good time. In April, we had what we call the cab call out, drive and fly, which is basically drive around, find a new area you've never been to. Maybe even while you're sitting in the cab of your vehicle, you point it out and you say, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna hit that, and you do it. A lot of fun with that. So if you wanna watch those, you can check out the playlists in my on my channel just jump over to my playlist and you'll see all the entrants for april you'll see all the entrants for may you'll even if you really wanted to dig you can even look at the jump challenges from the previous three years but anyway you just complete the challenge and you're in right submit it to your own youtube channel and let me know and then i'll drag that video right into the playlist and you're in you're officially entered so get your videos entered upload them to your own channel and i'll collect them all right make sure that when you film your video it's not a short it must be a classic standard format video on YouTube because I can't put shorts inside of my playlists, all right? I know that some of you might be wondering, well, what exactly do you win? I've mentioned it in my previous videos, but I'll recap that right now. Every year I pull together a group of sponsors. So there's three prizes that I give away. The main prize, and then I give away two t-shirts to the best in show, which is the video that I choose that had the most flair. And then we also, dig through the comment section in the best in shows video and i roll a die again and a random person wins there too so three prizes now the main prize what do you win so m2c comes to the table with a hundred dollar gift card to their website jump right over there and pick up spend a hundred dollars on their website and they got you covered Garage Life RC has another website where you can pick up a multitude of gadgets and gizmos for your rig, a 3D printed uh, wing mounts. The newer versions are even on his website. He has like custom straps for, you know, holding down your battery trays, all sorts of, all sorts of parts for your rig. Just jump over to his website and you'll have $50 to spend on Garage Life RC. Big shout out to Garage Life RC. Also 3D RC is another Another gadget that you will win in the main prize is a custom modified East Tactics 3D RC wing mount. Now this is the classic wing mount. We, we all know that Arma came out with the Creighton V2 that's got a completely redesigned wing mount. This specific wing mount that I customized for you is the classic wing mount. For all the owners that have a V3, V4, V5, or an EXB, everything but the upgraded v2 Creighton. now if you have that Creighton, this modified wing mount will be for you um so i ship i go in and i modify it and i ship it out to you that's from 3drc also radio link got involved with the sponsors this year and they will give you a 24 dollar gift card toward one of their toward one of their transmitters the rc6gs which i have right here is honestly in my opinion it's right when it comes to the price it's this is only about a 79 dollar transmitter you can get $25 well, $24 off on this transmitter. Or if you want to go to their next elevated version, the RC8X, you can get a $24 discount on that one as well. And basically they'll just shoot you over an email with the code that you can use and you can check out with it. That's the same thing that I do with, uh, with M, that's the same exact thing that I do with M2C and Garage Life RC. They'll shoot you over an email and you'll have a code that you can use on their website. Um, also, because I'm going to be shipping you out a 3D RC wing mount, I actually have linked up with a gentleman by the name of Pyro Nitro. He's got an eBay store. Really cool custom fan covers. Um, you saw in the beginning of the video, 40 millimeter high power fans. If you really want to learn the scoop on the 40 millimeter high power fan 
um, DIY project. I got a whole playlist on that. But the fan covers come from Pyro Nitro. I'll shoot a couple of fan covers your way. You could also pick up skid plates and things like that from Pyro Nitro's eBay store. So that's what the number one prize winner gets is a little hoopla of all those things. And there you go. So that pretty much sums it up. Um, uh, you do have until the end of the month, midnight, to get your video submitted. So whatever the last day of the month is at midnight, that's when the cutoff is. Just again, get it uploaded to your own YouTube channel and I'll add it to the playlist. Um, oh, just kind of to cover, you know, what I like to do in the month of August, uh, M2C comes to the table. Really, this is all a ramp. These challenges are all a ramp up to the biggest, the, the last month in August, where M2C gives a $500 plus get beefcake kit um, out to the winner. Um, Garage, Life Ice, Garage Life RSD st still gives you a $50 gift card. However, Radio Link will be giving you a, giving you the full transmitter in August. And Basher Bodies, which is another one of the sponsors, he comes to the table in the last month and gives a Basher Body out to the winner. So. Really, you want the, the most uh, advantageous month to get involved in these jump challenges is in August because that's when the prizes are all elevated. However, to make everybody a little bit more excited and interested in participating in all of the jump challenges, because all of the jump challenges are a lot of fun and there's prizes in all of them, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna randomly pick all the entrants from either April, May, June, or July, and those guys are gonna be in the drawing for August. So you're gonna have two of your, two drops in the hat if you participated in the month that's chosen. So participate in all five months and you're definitely gonna have a 100% chance that your name is in the August Jump Challenge twice. You have a 25% chance though, even if you only participated in one of the Jump Challenges and August, so technically two. You'd have to participate in August and at least one of the previous months, and you'd have a 25% chance to have your name in twice. But participate in all five of them because it's a blast and we all come together as in the RC family. We have an RC family of participants that get involved every year, and we're looking for newcomers to come and, and get involved, so please do. So that pretty much sums it up. This month's challenge, again, for the June Jump Challenge is a East Tactics, tree parkour challenge get out there find a tree and do something cool with it all right guys east tactics out